Hello everybody, we are back here with the Fresh Account playthrough episode 2. Today we are going to explore as much of the map as we possibly can and hunt whatever we find along the way uh, to try and get a little bit of levels, to get some more skills and perk points, as well as getting some money to buy some ammunition and unlock some of the other guns. We are going to do our best to just unlock as much of the map as we possibly can in today's video and see what cool things we find along the way. Like we kind of talked about in episode one, these first couple episodes will kind of be focused on some of the basic stuff and uh, some things that newer players may need to know whenever they're starting their playthrough as well. And so if you're new to the game, this episode is definitely going to be more catered towards you uh, to help you with some more tips and tricks and also discovering the map and showing where everything is located. But we also might focus on a little bit of trophy hunting in this video as well once we get a few of these locations unlocked and can uh, have a little bit better maneuverability throughout the entire map and be able to go to a lot more locations. So first things first, we are going to travel from this outpost right here and try to get down to this lookout tower. Once we get the lookout tower, we will work on getting some of the outposts that are in this area. There should be a couple over here. I don't know which ones are going to be revealed by this lookout tower though, but it'll definitely reveal at least one or two of them and then we'll head over to whichever ones it reveals. You know what, let's go ahead and take down this little coyote since it's going to be trying to run away and you know, any type of money will help this early on. Let's just do that. The thing about the coyotes is they'll die from pretty much any hit, so it really doesn't matter if we get the vitals. This one has no chance at diamond as it is a female and not anywhere close to level 9. So it's not really too big of a deal if we just shoot it in the back like that. It's kind of just to get a little bit of extra money. And it really didn't run too far. In fact, it only went maybe like... Well, it definitely didn't go 600 meters. I think that's because we picked up the track before we shot it and had been following it a little bit, but it didn't run more than like 100 meters after we shot it. So not bad, that's an easy thousand cash right there. Uh, coyotes give a ton of money because they are a predatory species and most of the predators in the game give more cash than the other types of animals. Another thing that I do think is pretty useful early on is make sure you're carrying a tent on you if you do have the DLC for them, uh, because uh, just being able to Plop one down and change the time real quickly if you need to is very handy. We're actually going to change the time to Whitetail even though we're not really hunting them because it'll give us more chances of finding some stuff to kill along the way while we're moving over to these lookout towers and outposts. You know something pretty useful early on in the Hunter Call of the Wild before you get a lot of tripods and tents can be just going to the top of these lookout towers and scanning the surrounding area. You're bound to find something whenever you do this. We just saw a moose go by. I heard a couple whitetail over there and uh, we could probably get a shot on them if there wasn't so much brush around this particular tower. But quite a few of them you can see pretty far from and in many cases you'll be able to spot some animals. Now let's go ahead and unlock this and that will level us up as well. Another thing that is really good early on is to go to any of these points of interest that will be marked by this icon on the map and then just walking up to them and uh, pressing E or the corresponding button if it would let me. There we go. So this will give you a little bit of experience as well as give you some information about the area. You know, we've actually got a couple decent whitetail herds along this river kind of on the way to the outpost that we're heading to. So I think we will end up taking them out. Let's get this level one right here and try to get a solid shot into it. I think we definitely can do it. And then we also have one over here that is a much nicer level two. This guy right here is pretty big. I'd like to get him down if we can possibly get a good shot because he will be one of the bigger things that we've killed since we started this account and not to mention money is money and we need as much of it as we can possibly get. My gosh, they are just all over this area in a lot of places that I've never seen them on my main account. So that is pretty crazy. Definitely got a lot of whitetail to take down. There's a zone here and two zones here. Unfortunately, the one we were looking at got away, but I think we can probably kill at least one of these. And in fact, that guy's given us a really good shot and so is the one behind him. So let's attempt this if we can. I think we can definitely make these shots right here. As for whether or not we got the second one is uh, unknown, but we definitely got the first one. Something we're going to do now is actually a very good time saving method. You can drop the uh, tent wherever you shot them from. That way when we go claim these ones, instead of having to walk all the way back to claim that other one, we can just fast travel to the tent and save ourselves about a minute of walking. 
So we definitely did get both of those Whitetail that we took a shot at in that second zone. Here is one of them just a little level two, but still money is money at this point. So got to get as many of them down as we can. The other one should be very close to this area as well. There is the second one. This is by far the best one that we have killed so far at 210.19. Very solid buck and uh, going to be one of the first golds that we've killed as well. Another 650 cash. So definitely working our way up to getting enough money to purchase some of the stuff that we need, like the Hyperion scope whenever we get enough rifle score to get that, because that's going to be a very big goal for us is getting up to that Hyperion scope. Getting up to the 270, the 7 mil, things like that are very important and we're going to try and work towards them as quick as we can. Once again, we've got another zone down here. We are just loaded with zones in this part of the map down in the very south of the river. This is honestly great. I'm glad that they're so close together so we're able to just hunt them super fast as we're going over to the outpost. Because we can get a ton of cash just uh, kind of shooting things as we go whenever we find a group of animals. And this is working out pretty good so far. We're running out of ammo. But, uh, we're getting a lot of stuff with it. Oh no, we hit the same one twice. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I was hoping we could get a second one, but we kind of messed up. Another one. Man, this place is going to be a great area to get money while we're doing our uh, latent unlocking. Finding so many of them down in this part of the map. We've got literally five zones in this tiny area. That is awesome. Well, before he notices we're here, let's go ahead and take a shot on this guy as well, since he's going to give us a good angle. And just like that, we dropped it. That was either a heart shot or a neck shot. Either way, it went down super fast. This guy, though, we managed to shoot twice unintentionally, but it did make it go down faster, I guess, and we did end up getting 776 cash as well. Very curious where we ended up hitting this one. Was it a neck shot? Was it a hard shot? It was indeed a hard shot. In fact, that's the only thing we hit. That's pretty crazy. But again, it died super quick, so we got more cash than normal. Uh, getting them down fast is very vital to maximizing the amount of money you get. So whenever possible, get those hard shots. If you need to, maybe try to get two shots into an animal to make sure it goes down fast because uh, it will increase the amount of money and XP that you get. And the faster you get the XP, the quicker you'll level up and the quicker you'll be able to use some of the skills and perks that are super helpful. And we have made it to the next outpost. Let's go ahead and claim this real quickly. And then I will show you guys uh, where this one is located and also where we're going to be going next. That is going to be 100 XP towards the next level. And we now have this outpost right here near Balmont Railroad. We're going to be heading up to this little lookout tower near Runaki and then going to the outpost down here next. And uh, yeah, we will jump back into it whenever we get there. Well, unfortunately, that lookout tower was completely around a mountain, so I would have had to loop around it regardless. So I decided to just go straight to the outpost that is here next to Runaki Lake. So we're just going to unlock that. We'll get this uh, lookout tower a little bit later, but uh, we're just a few kills off of getting to the next level. So once we claim this right here, we'll probably change the time and kill a couple more whitetail deer, and then we'll move on to... A little bit more black tail deer hunting most likely to try and get a, a bit of money to buy the Hyperion scope and also to try and get some ammo for the 270. Oh my gosh, that is a huge herd of whitetail. So after resetting the time, we've got this gigantic group of whitetail deer. This is going to be fantastic. Let's hope there's another herd around here. We could probably get a good amount of money just by taking these down. We can definitely get at least two of them. And I think after we shoot a couple, we will possibly drop a tripod stand here because this is going to be a great one to revisit to try and get even more cash out of it. Let's uh, get lined up on this one, though. This is a pretty good buck. Definitely think we can get a pretty easy shot on him. There's a couple behind him as well that are going to be great to take down. Something else that I feel like not enough people talk about in the Hunter Call of the Wild is if you are still low level and don't have access to the range finding binoculars, all you got to do is just spot the animal that you want to take down Go to your map and then go to the icon that shows the uh, the spotting icon. Just hover over it, look in the bottom right, and it will tell you the distance away from you. So that gives you an idea of uh, how much you need to compensate. Uh, guns default to 150 whenever you are using rifles, so you can be safe with a 150 shot because it's most likely going to hit exactly where you aim, and if it's further than that, you'll know that you need to compensate. 
And just like that, we got two bucks down. That is going to hopefully get us up to the next level. Let's go real quickly, drop down this tent and get the tripod out. And we will drop a stand right here. So now that we have our tripod, let's go ahead and drop it right here. And that will uh, reduce the hunting pressure every time we use it to shoot animals around this lake. And we did indeed get both of those bucks. Let's real quickly grab them as we go by. This was the bigger one right here at 216.99. And I believe only one more claim and we should get to the next level. Possibly one more after this, but we should be incredibly close. Here we go. Let's see. Did we get the level up off of this beauty right here? No, it, it doesn't look like we did. Well, that's unfortunate. That last kill did not get us a level up, but this one right here should. And just like that, we should be leveled up. 213 on the score of this guy, and we have officially hit level 5. Which means we now have one skill point and one perk point from the last two level ups, so let's go ahead and add them in. I think what we're going to do is uh, probably do breath control for our perk point. And then our skill point will go into track knowledge. Now, unfortunately, we do not have enough rifle score to unlock the Hyperion scope yet. We do have the money, but just don't have enough rifle score. So we need to kill a few more animals. And to do so, I think we're going to upgrade our rifle. We have yet to get the polymer tips for the 270. However, we did finally unlock the 6.5, which is a DLC rifle from Quattro Kalinas, but it's basically the same as the 270 in power. So we're going to go ahead and unlock that instead. It is 10K, so let's go ahead and buy it. And then we will get a little bit of ammo as well. And this will hopefully help us kill things a bit quicker than with the 243. If you don't have the 6.5, work towards the 270 instead. But since we have the 6.5 at our disposal, we're going to go ahead and use that. Now, I didn't take into account that the poly tips aren't unlocked. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. We're going to have to use soft points, but it is what it is. It'll still get us uh, by... Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. The next episode will most likely be heavily focused on Blacktail Deer and getting some better equipment, trying to get the Hyperion scope, as well as getting the 270 poly tips and the 6.5 poly tips unlocked and trying to push towards getting that 7 mil. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been a very fun series so far, and I hope to see you guys loving these for many, many weeks and months to come. We will be back with another one very soon, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.